hi everyone welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn uh, what is the localization and how we can use it in the laravel so let's get started so first question is what is the localization so let's understand it with the very simple example so let's say you have a website and your customer has a worldwide so like they are visiting from the india they are visiting from the russia they are visiting from the saudi arabic and most of the uh, parts of the world so, but uh, your lang your website is supporting on the one language is english or any one language so how the other guys know that uh, what content you are going to paste and all these things so for that we are going to localization in this localization uh, when you are uh, when your customer is uh, opening the website then it will show it according in the local language so let's say you are opening in the india then it can be open in the hindi language when you are opening in the russia then it, it can be uh, open in the russian in the arabic in the italian and all this thing so now let's get started with the code how we can do that so uh, in this example we will do uh, use the two languages like the hindi and the english then so, how we can use that so let's get started with that so first of all uh, you can see that this is my web dot uh, php and here i set the path is the root path and this is my text here you can see that this is the localization dot php okay for the set of the localization you have to go on the resource folder so uh, you can see that where it is okay so uh, you can uh, directly go to the resource folder and in the resource folder you can uh, see that the lang and lang there is only one folder which is the en that means the english so let's say i'm going to open it here and going to put like this uh just make a page name like messes dot php this is my file name for now oops this is the php that's my bad So here just start with the PHP tag and you can use a simple return here and in the return you have to use the array let's say uh, welcome message welcome msg all right oops there is a misspell with the welcome right and this is a key and what is the uh, value of this so we can write something like this welcome to the step by step php all right so now this is my file saying how can i access this in the welcome dot blade dot php so for that you have to just use the uh, double underscore so you can say that it's a curly bracket also all right then you can use uh, uh, all right you have to use the double curly brackets here also and after the uh, double underscore then you can use the kind of function and write here message this is a file name dot welcome messages welcome underscore messages all right so for reference i am just copy this all right and now open in the screen all right so you got that just uh, comment here it and rise you can see that welcome to the page step by step php so now how we can write in the other language this is a question so for that i have to convert in the other language for that i'll going to help with the uh, google uh, translator going to help me okay so churn php so it's little bit awkward but don't worry let's go with that so just go with the in this folder just make one more folder here which is the oops one more make folder is the hn okay in the hn folder you can make one more file uh i think i have to make the folder but i made a file here just made a folder with the hn okay and now just write a new file name which is the same dot php all right 
the same file name everything is same but the folder is a different okay so just I'm going to take it from here and put it on my value so now just you have to go with the uh, config folder and the config folder just open the app.php just uh, you can see that there is a uh, option which is the local then here you can just write here hn why hn because this is our folder name here so that it will go to the directly in this folder now and now just now just reload it and you can see that you got the Hindi language here so uh, this is about the how we can change the language in the whole website so let's say you want to change the uh, change the language of one screen only so then how you can do that so just watch uh, this video up to the end then i'll tell you the one more trick why we can uh, for, for one more purpose we can use this localization then what is this purpose okay so now go to your uh, blade.php so let's set back is to the english okay so now uh, we can close it and open the web.php so let's say only one root i want to set the php as the uh, i want just uh, want to change the language on the single page so how we can do that so for that just comment it and right here route and for route you can write here get in the get just put the path here all right and the second thing is the function and in this function you can use your code here and just put the semicolon at the last and just you have to use your route first of all so just return and in the return you can uh, write your view and the view just put the welcome all right so let's check is it working yes it's working so now how we can change the language for that you have to use the app class app here and with the app you can just write the set local and the set local is past the hi here only hi that means hindi and just try to uh, refresh this and you can see that you got the hindi language here also so now how we can pass it dynamically so uh, you have ever seen that some guys uh, here you can write here en hn and like how we can do that for that you have to just pass the parameter here for the parameter just you can write here just so let's say lang and in the lang just pass the parameter to the function dollar lang and this function you can write here with the inside the parameter all right and just write here hn oops hn is not something it's hi is here so you can see that this is the uh hindi language so first whenever i'm going to write here en then it will change with the english and if you write something else then it will change the uh, english also why because this is the by default language for now all right so for now you can see that uh, we got the hindi here and all these things so this is the basic tutorial and one more thing that you can use with that then let's say if you don't want to localization for the another country then you have to use for one country then somewhere you have to put the strings so in this folder you can put the strings here so let's say there is a lots of string by default is showing here so for the validation so you can see that the lots of localization is here so without the uh, showing the localization if you want to just use this one language here then you can also use for this so that you can uh, if if you define your all strings are here then it's good and let's say after the some time you want to change this then you can go open this only single file and you can change it on the whole file and for example of this let's say you want to put the email validation something your customization like this oops this email is not valid 
so if you are going to put it on the every where where you are going to use the email in your website then uh, you have to change uh, on the lots of places right? you have to change on the uh, registration you have to change on the uh, subscription you have to change on the uh, login but if you use the string here then you can put on the uh, if you have the look uh, put it on the sh uh, localization file you have to change on the one place and it will going to change everywhere in your app so it's pretty good and smart thing so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box and you can ask me on my facebook post also the uh, facebook page link given on the description box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video again